Okay, we are going to turn this single sheet of printer paper into an accordion book for a zine. Step one, hot dog fold your paper. Making sure that your corners line up. Step two, use a pair of scissors to cut the page in half along the line that you just folded. Keep it as even as you can. There we go, so now we have two pieces. Step three, Grab some glue. I'm using Elmer's clear washable craft glue and put a bead of glue along one of the edges. So just a small bead of glue and pretty close to the edge. No more than a finger width distance from that edge. Then take your other half and again at the edge, attach it by pressing it down. I have a little excess glue, I'm just going to kind of wipe it up in a way. You might want to have a little towel on hand to wipe your fingers on. Okay, so now that is seamed together. Next I'm going to fold this big long piece in half. Make sure my corners stay nice. And being very gentle when I come to this outside edge because my glue is still wet. So I need to help this paper fold right here so that my seam doesn't break. You can also wait for your seam to dry completely before this step. But I do find that it is a little bit easier to move around when it's still a little wet and pliable. Okay, great. We fold it in half once. Now you're gonna fold in half twice. There we go. So if you are someone who wants bigger pages to work from, You're going to stop here, and you are going to open up and you're going to flip the center crease the opposite way and fold it back the other way. And you're going to flip your last crease the opposite way and fold it that way. What that is going to yield is an accordion book with big pages. So your fold should make it look like an M when it's done. So if you want big pages, stop here, flip your two folds so you make a zigzag and you're ready to go. If however you would like to have smaller pages, Remember, we're back here. You are going to fold it once more. Pressing your creases down. And then you're going to open them up. Okay. Now we want to make sure your book opens properly. I'm going to flip it over so I have this one. This will be my front cover. These will be my inside pages. So basically I want to make it so all of my folds go zigzag, like back and forth. So if any don't match that back and forth, just adjust them as you go until you've made a big Charlie Brown stripe, a big zigzag accordion. So now 
if you have little pages or you have big pages, you're ready to make your zine.